pure inductance in AC circuit. First of all, let's draw inductor connected to AC supply. This is AC supply with voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t. This is inductor with inductance L. The self induced EMF across inductor will be self induced EMF in inductor will be E is equal to minus L di by dt. This is the self induced EMF in inductor and the applied voltage will be the applied EMF applied EMF E is equal to it will be same in magnitude but opposite in direction. So it will be L di by dt. Now our target is to find current I. So to find current I in this circuit di from this equation we can say di is equal to if we take this dt on this side so it will be e by l e by l dt now here in place of this e we can substitute v so it will be di is equal to v by l dt now we can integrate this so i is equal to integration of v by l v by l dt now here we can substitute v is equal to vm sin omega t So Vm sin omega t divided by L dt. So I is equal to this Vm by L is constant. So Vm by L integral of sin omega t dt. So it will be I is equal to Vm by L as it is the integral of sin omega t is minus cos omega t divided by omega plus constant so here i is equal to Vm by L minus cos omega t by omega so we can write it like this i is equal to Vm Vm by omega L and this will be minus cos omega t. Now for maximum current for maximum current cos omega t should be equal to cos omega t should be equal to 1. So this current will be I m. So I m is equal to V m by omega l and this term will be 0. So it will be this term will be 1. So it will be minus 1. So here we can write I m is equal to minus Vm by omega L. Now this minus Vm by omega L this minus Vm by omega L. Let's say this is equation number 1. So in place of minus Vm by omega L we can substitute 
I m. So here we can write in equation one. In equation one, put minus v m by omega l is equal to I m. So this equation will be I is equal to I is equal to I m cos omega t. Here we can see this will be V m by l omega. So this equation will be I is equal to I m cos omega t. I is equal to I m cos omega t. Now we can substitute in place of cos omega t. We can substitute I m minus sine omega or pi by two minus omega t. We also know that minus here we can write but minus sin theta is equal to sin minus theta so here if we substitute this if we solve this by using this formula so it will be i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 omega t minus pi by 2 so this is the equation for i i is equal to i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 so this is the expression for current and we already have the expression for voltage and that is v is equal to v m sin omega t also v this is small v is equal to capital v m sin omega t now here we can see here the phase is omega t minus pi by 2 and here it is omega t that means first the voltage will grow and after that the current will grow that means here we can write current i lags v by pi by 2 or we can write voltage v leads current i by pi by 2 now we can draw wave diagram for this so wave diagram first of all we need to draw a voltage wave form so it will be a sine wave form like this and then current lags v by pi by 2 so voltage will start from here this is 0 and this is pi by 2 and this is pi and this is 2 pi so it will start from this point the amplitude of current will be smaller than amplitude of voltage so it will be like this and this is the phase difference phase difference is represented by phi this is phase difference this is voltage waveform and this is current waveform
here we can write voltage V leads I by pi by 2 or we can write I lags V by pi by 2 then we can draw this by using phasor diagram also before that here we can see this will be Vm this is Vm and this this is Im this is the maximum or peak value of voltage and this is the maximum or peak value of current then we can draw phasor diagram phasor diagram for this will be this is the reference then this is this will be voltage Vm or maximum voltage this is maximum voltage Vm so here we can write Vm and this is phase omega t this is the direction of rotation of phasor because phasor rotate in counterclockwise direction at a speed of omega t so this will be this is voltage V and current I lags current I lags V by pi by 2 so this will be pi by 2 or 90 degree this is pi by 2 and this will be the projection of current so it will be current I here we can write this is this length represent amplitude of current I m and this length represent amplitude of voltage V m so this is the phasor diagram here also we can write current I lags V by pi by 2 or V leads I by pi by 2 so this is the phasor diagram the direction of rotation of this current will be same that is counterclockwise or anticlockwise then next is here we can give the name of this figure as phasor diagram phasor diagram a position to current due to inductor now opposition to current due to inductor the opposition to the current is given by v by i now here this v by i is given by here we can see here there is little sign correction this will be removed from here and here this will be removed from here this minus sign will be as it is so here this will be as it is now this is correct so from here we can say therefore Vm by Im is equal to omega L so voltage by current is equal to omega L so here we can write V by I is equal to Vm by Im is equal to omega L and opposition to current 
for inductor is given by it is called as XL and it is called as inductive reactance inductive reactance where this omega is equal to angular frequency and it is equal to 2 pi f this angular frequency unit is radian per second and this is the inductance in Henry. So therefore XL is equal to omega L and it is equal to 2 pi F L and its unit will be ohm because it is the opposition to the flow of current. Then whether the supply is AC or DC so for AC for AC the opposition to the current will be or here we can write for AC higher frequency higher frequency this V by I will be equal to omega L now for higher frequency this omega will be higher because the frequency is higher so here we can write for AC inductor inductor blocks AC in bracket high frequency high frequency and for DC why blocks High frequency because here we can see as we increase the frequency this V by I that is V by I means XL this XL will increase so that's why inductor blocks AC and for DC for DC the frequency is zero zero frequency in case of DC so XL is equal to V by I is equal to Omega L so for this this will be zero that means opposition to the current will be zero so here we can write inductor allows DC if you want all the notes of this video then visit the link in the description below there you will find thousands of questions and answers and videos related to electrical and electronics engineering. Thanks for watching.